Hello, my name is Michael Chagnon, and I'm a curator at the Aga Khan Museum. Today, in honor of Black History Month, I'd like to share with you one of the museum's most celebrated contemporary artworks, a monumental sculpture over 30 square meters in size, constructed of over 100,000 black Lego bricks. Its title is Kumbi Saleh 3020 CE. Kumbi Saleh 3020 CE is the work of the Toronto-based Ghanaian-Canadian artist Eko Nimako. The sculpture was completed in late 2019 and acquired for the museum's permanent collection in early 2021. Maybe you've had a chance to see Kumbi Saleh 3020 CE on display at the Aga Khan Museum. If so, you'll already be familiar with the work's dazzling, intricate portrayal of a walled city nestled in a plain surrounded by rolling hills. Using our eyes and minds to navigate this magnificent cityscape, we come upon myriad details that offer themselves for exploration. For example, each of the low-level habitations clustered inside the city walls has been uniquely and individually designed so that no two structures are the same. At the heart of the central citadel, a lofty tower rises over the entire city and is visible from all points below. A rather subtle detail is the variation of the Lego bricks used in the sculpture. While buildings and landscapes are constructed from opaque black bricks, the moats and canals are made from contrasting transparent black bricks to evoke flowing water. But what exactly does the phrase Kumbi Saleh, mentioned in the artwork's title, refer to? To answer that question, we have to step back into the medieval past, to one of the world's great civilizations, the Ghana Empire of West Africa. Spanning present-day Mauritania, Mali, and Senegal, the mighty Ghana Empire reached its pinnacle between the 9th and early 13th centuries CE. Much of its wealth and power was derived from control over West Africa's rich gold fields, as well as from its position as a terminus at the end of the Trans-Saharan trade route. The Ghana Empire's capital is recorded as a flourishing urban center, first described in writing by the 11th century Arab Andalusian writer Al Bakri in a geographical work titled Kitab al Misalik wal Mamalik, The Book of Roots and Kingdoms. Al Bakri writes The capital city of Ghana consists of two towns situated on a plain. One of these towns, which is inhabited by Muslims, is large and possesses 12 mosques. In the environs are wells with sweet water from which they drink and with which they grow vegetables. The king's town is six miles distant from this one. The king has a palace and a number of domed dwellings, all surrounded with an enclosure like a city wall. In other words, Al-Bakri suggests that the capital of the Ghana Empire was split between a zone inhabited by the indigenous West African ruling elite and a zone that was home to a thriving Muslim mercantile community. Although Al-Bakri does not solidly identify the city's name, two 17th century West African sources, the Tarikh al-Fatash and the Tarikh al-Sudan, record that the capital of the Kaimaga dynasty, believed to be the rulers of the Ghana Empire, was called Kumbi. For centuries, this place was lost. However, in the 20th century, French archaeologists, taking a lead from local tradition, came upon a ruined medieval town in the southern portion of present-day Mauritania. This place was called Kumbi Saleh. The archaeologists suggested that this very well may have been the Ghana Empire's capital, identified in the early modern sources as Kumbi. The archaeological evidence, however, does not correlate precisely to al-Bakri's description, and so for now, their identification remains speculative. Nonetheless, 
For the artist Eko Nimako, the ambiguity of the historical and archaeological record opens up possibilities for reimagining the splendor and the might of the Ghana Empire's capital. Nimako identifies his artistic practice with Afrofuturism, a genre of art, literature, and film that reclaims historical narratives around blackness. In the words of curator and critic Ingrid Lafleur, Afrofuturist artists do this by, quote, imagining possible futures through a black cultural lens, unquote. Nimako's sculpture, Kumbi Saleh 3020 CE, projects the medieval city 1,000 years into the future, where it continues to thrive and prosper. For the artist, this Kumbi Saleh, straddling the medieval past and a glorious future, is an ideal to be striven toward, a place where the treasure of life is cherished. This utopian outlook is encapsulated in one of the sculpture's most prominent details, the large emblem capping the central tower that overlooks the city. This traditional Ghanaian symbol, known as Gyewani, means enjoy yourself. Beginning in February 2022, Kumbi Saleh 3020 CE can be experienced in Houston, Texas, where the sculpture will be on view in a special exhibition at the Houston Museum of African American Culture until May 14th. If you find yourself in Texas, please do visit HMAC and see this incredible work of art for yourself.